welcome to the massive open online course on science, technology and society. My name is Sambit Malik. I teach sociology in general and sociology of science and technology in particular at the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences, Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. It is a 30 hour course uh, comprising 30 lectures. Will let us have a brief overview of the course before we start our lectures. We will discuss in this course on STS. Will I mean we will start with the cognitive dimensions, the, the ethical dimensions and the methodological dimensions as part of thematic preliminary within STS shortly I mean science, technology and society. Within cognitive dimensions, we are going to discuss different models or perspectives on STS namely the hierarchical or linear model uh, of the relationship between science, technology and society one. Secondly, the interactionist model of the relationship between science, technology and society and thirdly, the embedded model of the relationship between science, technology and society. Okay. What are these we will discuss in the lectures to follow as a matter of introducing the, the, the course itself, then we will move to the ethical dimensions of, uh, uh, of science, technology and society. I mean, I mean eth ethical dimensions of science and technology, there we will discuss science as a social institution and the ethos of modern science propounded by Robert Martin. Within methodological dimensions, I mean what are the methods of science, what may be the possible methods of science, there we are going to discuss inductivism, hypothesism, positivism, methods propounded by methods of science propounded by Karl Popper, Thomas Kuhn, Paul Feyerabend and so on. Then we will move on to discussing on inequalities in science, I mean that is called Matthew effect in science in Mottonian term. Okay. In this, we are going to discuss basically two aspects. One is in how inequalities in science are uh, 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 reflected uh, in society, in our economy, in our culture, in our polity. There are two ways in which inequalities in science are reflected. One is in terms of reward and communication systems in science and secondly, cumulative advantage and the symbolism of intellectual property. Okay. Then we will discuss technology and politics, in uh, 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 we will take Langdon Wiener as a point of reference who talked about do artifacts have politics, okay. I mean political construal of technological systems. Then we will discuss technology as knowledge by uh, Edwin Letton Jr. Okay. Then we will discuss in the form of Donald McKenzie and U. D. Walkman's reflections on social shaping of technology. Okay. We will start with technological shaping of society and then we will move on to social shaping of technology. From technologically deterministic uh, or technological determinism to how technology also is a byproduct of our economy, culture and polity. Okay. And from there on, we will discuss certain emerging technologies, you may look at information technology, you may take look at biotechnology, you may look at nanotechnology. Okay. For this, for this course, okay, we will zero in on to only information to technology okay, as it is economically, culturally, politically, socially, ethically, legally embedded. Okay. And then 
how modern science has been received in India historically and in, in, in when I say historically, history cannot be reduced to only past events. Whenever I talk about his, historically or, or historical evolution of modern science in India, I mean I must look at modern science in India in its historical contemporaneity. Okay? Okay. And that is how I must uh, sketch history to accommodate my present and in envision my future. Okay? And, we, we, and after discussing reception of modern science in India, we will discuss in particular science policies in India starting from the science scientific policy resolution of 1958, then technology policy statement of 1983, then science and technology policy uh, of 2003, where the government of India wanted to integrate both science and technology. I mean, uh, uh, if you look at this, I mean earlier notion was that science was the act of knowing, technology was the act of doing. Uh, or technology is simply known as applied science, how we must integrate, we must overcome these such dichotomies, we must be able to integrate both science and technology and so on. And then with the, uh, with the emergence of IPR regime, intellectual property rights regime uh, of the WTO and India is, uh, has absolute uh, almost absolute uh, compliance with the US dictated uh, IPR regime in India since 2005 as we entered the product patent regime since the 1st of January 2005 as a part of the as part of the negotiations uh, through uh, in which India became a signatory to WTO agreements in 1995 okay. and then we will discuss 2013 science technology and innovation policy of the government of India uh, by keeping the changes in the in scientific practices in mind. This is the brief introduction to the course and as we move on we will discuss the different dimensions, different perspectives so far as the relationship between science and technology on the one hand and society on the other. Are concern, is concerned. Having said this, please remember that and this is not the absolute thing, this, this is the, the this course aims at raising certain concerns, raising certain perspectives uh, or rather this course is on interrogating the hitherto existing uh, 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 models of science, the hitherto existing, if we cannot interrogate uh, the hitherto existing models, then we are not able to create anything new. Okay? That is why in order to create something new, we must be able to interrogate the hitherto existing models. Okay? Then let we will start with the lectures to follow. Thank you.